You may look at this and say, wow, that's an abomination. You may look at it and say, isn't that a hazard? You have electronics right next to what appears to be a water holder. You may look at it and say, hey, that's loose metal in there. That's not very washed and duct tape. Shouldn't you not be drinking out of that? Let me answer those questions with a question. Do you want to stay hydrated or suffer permanent hearing damage? I thought so. So you might ask, what exactly does this beautiful piece of hardware do? Well, a few things. First, it holds water and you can drink it. And as long as it's plugged in and it's full of water, you're good to go. So there's a few key features that uh, once once you start you know drinking some water like you should, you, you might not be motivated to go fill the water actually uh, back up. Now I solve that by once it starts getting a little bit lower, um, a blinding light will turn on. This isn't much, it's just drawing you, hey, maybe fill up the water some more. You know, we're gonna run out at some point soon. When you start getting lower, I'm gonna go fill up the water. So the secondary system, uh, just a laser pointed at you and your face and your eyes, activate. You really have a bigger motivation. Now, there's there's a possibility you could cover up the laser and point it away. That's why the last system is very difficult to ignore. If it gets most of the way empty, it will activate the tertiary system, this buzzer. You, you, you don't ignore the buzzer. And no water in it. So there's the buzzer. Right, I need to show you how I actually built this wonderful creation. I think I think I actually have a few a few seconds of footage about that. Wait, no, they can hear me, can't they? Now that I have this full of water, I can plug it in to show you uh, the effects. Now, it's booted up, and you might say, well, there's none of the lights on. What's happening? The water's slowly up, and it's touching all the sensors, which will cause nothing bad to happen. However, Let's take a little drink and see what happens. <sighs> Tape residue and aluminum shards, my favorite. Now, you might notice nothing's happening quite yet, but I have it right down to a, to a little edge. So as soon as I drink any more, something interesting will begin to happen. As you can see, the main safety features have now activated. Now, now it's a little loud, but if we can go ahead and pour water in there, you notice it stops right away because it's immediately filled up past the little point. So now it's calmed down. Now, you might ask, how does this system work? I'm glad you asked. Through my advanced diagram, you will now learn how the system works. So, to the bottom, as you can see, we now apply a current up through and to a plate in the bottom of the cup near the aluminum foil. Then there's three plates on the sides of the cup who are wired up. When the cup fills with water, it will allow this, if it's conductive, it will allow the electricity to go from one plate to the other. So you're drinking active current water. I get to be detected, which will then go to Wino and show that the LED is off, and so on and so forth for each level. When you get down to the bottom, it will allow this buzzer to turn on, which then will annoy you into filling it up. While it can run off a power source, such as this uh, mobile battery charger, it has more functionality when plugged into a computer. Allow me to demonstrate. Okay, I know where you sleep at night. Okay, maybe, maybe, let's just unplug this and never plug it in again. For personal safety, health, and ear damage issues, uh, I can't suggest that anybody ever uses this. That said, 
it is the best invention ever and you have to subscribe.